see here. My channel. Live. Here we go. Turn it down. And I think we're rolling here. Let's see here. What's up, everybody? Good to see you. So I put out a video today that was a uh, pretty good video, I thought. One of my kind of old school Rick videos. Those of you that are watching the channel for a long time uh, would recognize that. But uh, it's done incredibly poorly. And I knew it would, but I didn't think it would do that badly. Um, not sure why people don't watch videos with um, that no more people watched it than people that watched my old videos when I had a hundred thousand subscribers and now I have a million subscribers and that's it 15,000 pretty weak um, I mean I'm sure some of you did watch it but uh, um, I don't know how to title videos like that um, Let's see. Mark, hi, Rick. Looks like future music can't use the 145 progression ever again. Um, I don't know what that means. Brett, it was a great video. Ah, oh, there you go. Um... So yeah, that's uh, um, pro musicians might like it. I guess I don't have any more pro musicians on my channel than I did than out of the, the first, uh, you know. These kind of videos always had a ceiling of about 30,000 or so. And it's kind of, it's pretty much halfway there. It's, um, it, it's, I'm, uh, yeah, not sure what to say about that. Um, really love my Alanis Morissette video. Why is it that people, um, never mind. Um, you get Tim to come in again. I am going to have Tim come in. I uh, come in again. I talked to him yesterday, actually. Um, so yeah, it's um, yeah, that's kind of what I decided that I was going to do. But you know, you get these notifications from YouTube that says fifty-eight. Your video is performing. 58% less or 58% of the people that we offer the video to don't click on it. Something like that. And they have this uh, analytic thing that looks like a hurricane tracking while well, going in the opposite direction. Hurricanes go from uh, east to west. This goes from west to east. But uh, there's this thing that what your average views are for video. And this was 58% below that. Um... Anyways, I thought it was a really good video and um, and um, but I don't know how to title videos like that. There's there's all these videos that people have been doing lately about, you know, X amount of levels of blah, 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 whatever it is. <clears throat> Nari did it. Nari did it. <clears throat> a great video on Wired about that. It seems like everybody is doing those videos now. Um, but uh, but this isn't that. And um, so anyways, I'm not sure what to do about that. 
Jason says, don't let YouTube dictate your content. Well, YouTube does dictate the content. That's the thing. YouTube dictates who they send it out to, um, ultimately, because it, uh, it doesn't... When you have a big video, <clears throat> YouTube pushes it out to more of your subscribers. Um, just because you have a million subscribers doesn't mean a, a, a notification goes out to a million people. Obviously, people have the bell rung, get a notification, and they can see it in their feed. But um, ultimately, there's uh, if it's a suggested video, um, then they that gets seen by more people. And um, there's no way to title th something like this. I don't know. I, uh, anyways, um, let's see here. Depending on the percentage of views in North America, the time of day may have played a part in it. It, it doesn't matter. I release videos at that time of day all the time. It's actually the best time of day to do it is around 2 o'clock when I released it. That's why I do my live streams at 2 because mo more people are uh, awake around the globe, I, I think, around that time than any time. And, you know, when I have a, you know, a typical video would do 20,000 views in the first hour. This doesn't have 20,000 views yet. So, um, uh, so there you go. I know you guys are great. Jason says we're great coming up titles. I should have come on here and consulted, but I didn't know how to describe the video. That's the thing. Um, I didn't know how to describe the video, so it was very hard to come up with a title. Joe, it's too heavy for the majority. Well, um... Ace, you're usually awake at 3 a.m. in your home studio. Hold on. Um, let's see. Anyways, so that's... Uh, um, um, I am not going to let it change what I'm doing, though, but... Um, Nathan says maybe slowly work the level of complexity up to where the video is um, I've already done those videos you know somebody said in the comments what you don't even explain what thirds are and I if I have to explain what thirds are you're on the wrong channel no offense um I just thought that was funny. You don't even explain what thirds are. Um, um, I couldn't come up with a catchy title for it, honestly. Um, yeah, thirds are in the book, exactly. Um, Tyler... I do know the consequences of doing of doing the um, of doing those kind of videos. Although I just didn't think, you know, I always forget that they do badly. And I thought, well, you know, I haven't done one like this in a long time. Maybe it won't do as badly as as they normally do. But it, that's not true. It's kind of like the the um, the jazz listeners that are not there anymore. You know. Um, I'm not saying this was a jazz video, but when I went to Crossroads and Kurt Rosenwinkel played, you know, people didn't really react. They were talking and things like that while he was playing. And he, he sounded great. And people were, you know, mo most people were disinterested um, because it just wasn't anything like any of the other acts that were on there. So, um... Anyhow, let's see here. Brett. Well, really, polychords are for everyone. There you go, Brett. They hear them in good movie scores, but people don't know what... The, wait, 
but people don't what they don't know. They yeah, that's right. That's true. Um, Chris, a lot of people who don't play music who watch your channel. I get the motivation. There's tons of people that watch my channel that don't play music. I read that in the comments um, in, of my my speaking video I did the other day. Um, let's see here. Karthik says, third intro a new video. Been long since a complex video. There you go. Uh, four ninety nine. Thank you. Who who's done to that, Luke? Your book helped me and your eleven year old daughter bond through music ed and music theory. We love your videos. Enjoy these even more. Excellent. Um, I was talking to my dear friend Peter Smart last week, and uh, he said that one of the things he likes about this channel is that I don't swear. And I said, Why would I swear? And he said that, that, you know, there's so you know, so many channels people do use bad language. And I know that there's kids that watch. Not that I would ever use language like that, but um, I want parents to know if their kids are watching, they know my channel is a safe channel to watch. Now, I do get, get uh, bent out of shape sometimes about, about blockers, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> Or about Apple or things like that, but I always keep it, um, I always keep it on the up and up. Um, let's see here. Um, Henry says, hi Rick, what is more difficult, playing and understanding classical music or bebop jazz improv? Um, well, uh, I guess it depends on, on who you are. Um, some people, hmm. Well, if you were to ask a classical musician, they'd say that jazz is more difficult and you ask a jazz player and they'd probably say jazz is more difficult too. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure how to answer that. It really depends on what level you're uh, you're performing at. Tyler, the amount of music education making available to the world is a huge contribution. Thank you. Um, Logan, Rick, as always, thank you for your channel. This may be a stupid request, but one in one of your upcoming videos, could you maybe touch on how to practice getting a good pinched harmonic tone? Pinched harmonics are things that you do by accident and then you become good at doing them. It's It's, you have to, use the meat of your thumb and the tip of the pick and just hit it. You hit it just right to get a good pinch harmonic. They're hard, very hard to do. Um, let's see here, Joe, wait, um, Ralph, what's the percentage of male to female viewers in various age groups? Also videos of female singers, track female singer, songwriters, who knows? Um, most YouTube is um, music channels are heavily, um, well, actually, I don't know. I have to look at my analytics on that. I'm not sure because I don't look at the, I don't look at the gender part of the audience very often. Um, I can't remember what it was. Um, let's see. You should bring back movie score videos. They do poorly. Only John Williams videos do well. That's why I kind of abandoned my anatomy of a soundtrack. I thought it was a great idea, but for the amount of work it takes, um, you know, uh, it's a really specific um, area that you can't. It's very hard to teach things out of the out of the movie scores because. Um, uh, they're very specific to the scene, and um, and I like to th I like to teach concepts, concepts that are applicable ab across genres, and how someone composes a uh, you know a cue for a movie is a lot of times dependent on the um, on what's going on at the time in the movie. Um, 
I know you hear walking here. I'm ignoring it though. Um, Griselda, my favorite videos are the ones where you, after you wind to look things up. There you go. Derek, I started watching last year. Didn't know what a pentatonic scale was, but I watch anyway because most of what you do is still in my head, but you're learning. There you go. Um, five Watt World. What's up, Pipes? It's a marketing challenging. A marketing challenge. Remember the advanced theory videos have, that have done well, <clears throat> like the one with the Game of Thrones reference. That was huge. Yeah, what was... Oh, well, that's because I was on with the Night King. I put it in the thumbnail. Um, yeah. Yeah. I probably should have made my head bigger in the thumbnail. Um, it's interesting that Rick put JP. It's interesting that Rick puts out what makes this... Dosing great what? And that is interesting to a vast audience. I don't know what that, what that means here. Uh, Tyler, I love that you included different kinds of harmonic content feels like that makes it more accessible. Uh, RJ, your channel is more of a journey for sure. I guess people who are looking for a quick answer to everything music aren't going to stick with it. <laughs> um... Arctic monkeys. Um, I'll probably get around to Arctic, Arctic money. Eh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, Deb, that's one of my favorite things about you. And I swear a lot. <laughs> that's that's funny, Deb. I like that. Deb, when I met you, you didn't swear. I don't remember you swearing. Um, no question. Rich sex an example for the kids. I try to. Um... Okay, Henry again. What's harder, bebop improv or classical music from the masters? I still don't understand what that is. What is harder? I don't. I don't know. Um, like, what's harder to do? I'm not sure. Um, maybe some ultra basic music theory course for the uninformed. There's, you know what? YouTube is full of those. I I've tried to do some things like that. People don't watch those things on my channel. When I do those, they're, I think they're boring to people. Um, they're people. They're boring to people on this channel. Brett, I agree with Peter 100%. Too many people curse on YouTube. You do a great job. Thank you. I try, I, I, um, I would never do that. Uh, don't let the kids watch the video from the guy from Ben Sevenfold. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Sin, he, uh, he uses quite colorful language. Uh, I love Sinister. He's the best. Um, Cat Casper LD. Let's see, Casper old <laughs> Casper lid. Yes, no swearing is huge. I can play your videos on my TV with my kids around. Exactly. Um, what's popular now? What's less popular now? Classical or jazz? Such a sad question, Michael. Um, what's less popular? Well, I guess I I might frame it. What's more popular, classical or jazz? Oh man, um, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Hard to say what's less popular. <laughs> um, you know, you remember when I was trying to ha get Brad Meldo to come onto my channel? Um, he, and then his manager said, well, Brad doesn't do phoners or in-persons. And I remember he put out his garden video, which is, I love that song off his new record. And it had 9,000 views the first day. And these are people listening to songs. I mean, that's for a song, you would think it'd have way more than that because a song you're going to listen to multiple times. So um, that was really terrible. Um, I don't know why he wouldn't come on my channel, but I don't know why Pat Matheny won't come on. I wrote to him again a, a sixth time, I think. I wrote to his manager, no response. Nothing, nothing. Not, you know what, I don't feel it's right for Pat or um, uh, nothing. Just just ignore the email. Um, 
let's see, Chris, the, uh, how do you feel about Friedman amps? I don't know anything about them. I don't know free. I mean, I've never played through one, believe it or not. I've never met anyone that I know people that play Friedman amps. Maybe I don't know that many people that play. I think I know people that play Friedman amps. Um, Doug Rappaport plays Friedman Amps. Doug's one of my favorite players. He's a great player. On You should check him out on Instagram. Um, Five Watt World. Keith says, they just announced the MacArthur Awards and a number went to jazz artists. Okay. Which, uh, I'm curious which ones. Um, uh, Subi, what's up? My largest demographic is 25 to 34, but it's pretty equal amongst them. Um, so it's really, you know, um, it, it's uh, really not that uh, different. I'll, I'll read it. So, oh, 5 Watt World, uh, his P bass video. If you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely see it. Um, you should definitely subscribe to Five Watt World if you haven't. Keith has the best, uh, you know, most. He, he basically does documentaries. All of his videos are unbelievably well researched, and um, I learn a, so much every time I watch him. Um. Video of evolution of progressions through the years. Okay. Um, um, Liam Gallagher has an MTV Unplug coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I ne had no idea. I didn't know they were still doing those. Let's see here. I remember you were doing videos on compositions of big video game music scores. Just wondering. I never did a video on any music, any video games. I had a big, a guy that runs a VidCon or something, one of those things, or, or Gamer Music Con or whatever, on my channel. Um, but that's about it. IBJI. It's not only about jazz, but about increasing your vocabulary and opening up to more interesting choices. Exactly. Um, hey, Rick, would it be interesting if you had Dylan write an original song? Uh, Dylan is not interested in music, so um, you'd have to be interested in music to write a song. Um, writing a song is a very specific kind of talent, too. Uh, I mean, he doesn't even listen to, to music. He doesn't even listen to songs. Why would he write a song? Or how could he write a song when he doesn't know anything about that? Doesn't know anything about lyrics? Um, country music is natural auto-tune. They should not use anymore. It, country music is all about auto-tune now. It's all about pop, really. Um, Joe says they are different. Neither is harder. Thank you, Joe. That's actually the correct answer. <laughs> um, let's see here. Uh, what is this guy? Okay, good. That guy's gone. Ban hammered. Boom. Um. Do more riffs. You won't hear a guitar center. Okay. Um. The ear training course is not out yet. Aaron has been in town, and we've been working on it. We're we're uh. We're just about ready for the um. I think we'll be ready at the beginning of the week for our beta testing, for our beta testers. Let's see here. Scott says, the response seems directly proportional, proportional to the amount of access most gain 
to the music that employs such beautiful constructs. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, uh, YouTube demonizes video with foul language. Is that right? Um, you know, I when I first... Aaron wrote a program when he first started working for me to look up tags that people use in their videos because I didn't know how to tag what tags to use. You, you put tags in about what the videos are about. And uh, I've mentioned this before, but the um, gamer channels say no cursing, no swearing in them. I always forget to put that in there. Uh, but so that they can be on YouTube Kids or they they know that they can be served up to kids. Um, okay, Daniel J. asks, why do some jazzers not get on the YouTube train? That is a great question. That is a great, great question. There's very few jazz musicians on YouTube. None of the none of the major jazz musicians are really on YouTube. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, Five Watt World is watching. Brett asks, why are people scared to learn theory? You don't need to be brilliant. It's not that hard. You should do a video on that. That's actually a great title. Why are people scared to learn theory? Okay, I'll put that down. Brett, thank you. Why are people... That sounds... Uh, to learn theory. That's kind of a long title. I like it. Um, let's see here. Um, hoping to see a jazz bass video. Five Watt World doesn't swear online. Um, <laughs> Five Watt is a VA is a great place to chill and save money. <laughs> uh, is there a discount code for the book? Uh, there is a discount code for the book. Um, I'll tell you what it is here. I'm going to make it right now. I'm going to make a discount code for you guys. Um, let's see here. I'm going to make a discount code. Um, uh, let's see here. I'm just going to go RB Live. Hold on. I guess all capitals. What is wrong with my capital button? RB Live, 30% off is a discount code. If you guys want to get anything right now, RB Live. Um, has Michael Shanker passed this prime? I, I've not listened to Michael Shanker in so long. I'm not sure. Never caught me live before. Nor a bite guitar. Um, have I ever experienced a panic attack, JP? I have, actually. Uh, back when I was in my 20s, late 20s. I got a, I had a panic attack. I had a couple panic attacks. Really uh, fr frightening. Um, it's a, uh, you get a tightness in your chest. Um, mine was definitely brought on by too much caffeine way too much caffeine uh, and it lasted for you know, I'll tell you I tell you what got me out of it it lasted for about a day and a half and I went and had acupuncture my dentist at the time I had a dentist that was his name was Ira 
and Ira was a guitar player. Um, he took guitar lessons with me, and he was a Western and Eastern. He he did ac he did acupuncture, but he was a Western dentist back in Ithaca. He oh he was great, and uh, so he would do, he'd, he would do Novocaine things like that, you know, and and regular dentistry, but he also would do acu um, acupuncture. I went and had acupuncture and went away. There you go. Um, um, what is Dylan interested in? Um, video games. Wasn't he learning oboe? He's playing oboe. I wouldn't say he's learning oboe. <laughs> um... If I do a Taylor Swift review, I will not do a Taylor Swift review. Um, let's see. Joshua, is that it? You bought my kid's drum set. They haven't got to it once. Um, why doesn't jazz guitar contain, contain bends? Some people bend. Some jazzers bend. Uh, John, uh, John Schofield bends. Mike Stern bends. Um, Matheny would bend off one fret bend. I think because they use strings that are too heavy. Um, Scott says, seeing a video does poorly based on the amount of views, viewers or views, is, is it not problematic? It is problematic. Um... Because, uh, because, um, it's problematic, but it, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, is Iden coming to the States? Okay. I talked to Iden, Brett. Iden had, um, uh, he's, uh, has a problem with his back. He had back surgery, actually. He had a herniated disc. I probably shouldn't say this on, on, on here, but Iden wouldn't care. Uh, and he's uh, he's recovering from it. That was a, a few weeks ago, and uh, he's he's getting up and around. And he's going to come here as soon as he he's uh, he can sit on the plane ride over here. He taught last week. He said over in in um, in Switzerland where he teaches, and he said it was it was tough walking through the airport and everything. You know, carrying his stuff. But he's he's uh, he's getting there. So as soon as he um, improves, he's gonna come over. So it, soon though. Um, Keith, uh, let's see, hypes five watt world. I second the Marcus King re interview request. I talked to Marcus the other day. Uh, like I said, he's been here in the studio. I've known him since he was sixteen. I don't know him well, but. He's a good kid, um, and he's a great player. I'll have him on, though, for sure. Um, Karthik says, The complex music videos don't get as many views, but the reason you get hooked on the channel initially is because of the message to explore more complex harmony. I will continue. I'm not going to stop doing that. It doesn't matter if it, they don't get views. But I just am always surprised that out of those million subs... Well, they're not going to click on a video that talks about polychords. What am I going to call the call the video? You know, I don't know. Um, a Kurt Rosenwinkel uh, video will will happen for sure. Um, um, Andre, I just rewatched your cicada video. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, Jason, uh, why don't they bend? Because jazz players are too busy with their barista jobs. Ouch. <laughs> Alex, there's no jazz musician on YouTube because they're constantly in the shed practicing. Um... Why does music theory feel intimidating? That's that's um, that's a good title. Why does music theory 
feel intimidating. I like that. Music theory is not physics. That's a good title too. Music theory is not physics. Hmm. I'm not sure what the angle of that is, but it sounds good. Um, let's see here. Would I ever consider reviewing a whole album in depth? Like what makes this album great? Yes, I would. Um, Joe has an answer here. Answer equal. A better emphasis on the application of theory is as important, if not more so, as theory itself. Mm -hmm. Andre, M question. Has someone ever played a high watt? They are clean. I have a high watt right back here. They're amazing. Love it. Um, 30% discount. Yeah, RB Live is the discount right here. Um, high watt amps do have an amazing clean sound. Well, they're, they're all different, really, honestly. The new high watts sound killer, though. Really like mine. Um... Green Arrow, what's up? Man, I must be really far behind in my comments here. 933, 934 I'm at. Um, Rick from Indy, how do you feel about plug-in effects? I have tons of them. I use, I have everything you can imagine. Do I prefer outboard or hardware? Um, I like both. The, obviously the plugins are convenient. The outboard ones, have a vibe. I like physical knobs on things, you know, like tweaking on something that's real. Um, will the ear training course cover chromatic tetra tetrachord polychords? Yes. I like that. Um, ever get any, any weird music or guitar related dreams? I don't remember my dreams. Never. Isn't that weird? I used to. I don't remember them anymore. Just bought the book. Yes! Um, Pat Martino bends, but only half-step bends. Jazz players don't bend much because the early players used heavy flat wounds and they established the conventions. True. Um, 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 let's see here. What do I think about Jewel? I like Jewel. Don't know her personally, though. What instrument that you have not played would you like to try? Mm, not sure. Um, I don't know because I haven't tried it. <laughs> not sure. Um, uh, let's see. Pretty sure you have to make a pact with a demon if you're a jazzer who wants to bend the strings. <laughs> uh, MacArthur Grant, winner for music, was Mary Halver Halverson. Okay. Chris, is there an interview that surprised you? One that I did, Chris? Um, or one that I listened to? Um... The devil doesn't like to be mentioned. Rick be out of it. Rick won't pay him. I will not pay the devil. Um, let's see here. Um, J 
Jason says your title should be less about what you're showing and more about why you should watch it. That's a very interesting point. Okay, well, give me an example, Jason, of my new video. If I were to change the title now, I changed the title a couple times. I'll change it again. What would be a good title for it? Why should people watch it? Why should they watch it? Anybody, I'll take, I'm taking a request here. What would be a thing for watching my polycord video I did today? What would be the reason that they would watch it? Um, what's up, Dean? Um, hold on here. I mean, I can't believe I get over 200 people live here. It's ridiculous. Matt R., have I ever listened to Crusaders? Of course. I interviewed Larry Carlton. Listen to Crusaders many times. Um, where do I stand? Kemper versus Helix. Well, I have a Helix. I don't have a Kemper. So, hard to say. Um... Let's see here. What's my favorite go-to album? Hmm. Um, title, The Theory of Everything, dot, 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 music. That's pretty good. This isn't rocket science. This isn't music theory. Rocket scientists. <laughs> Music. This isn't rocket science, music, music instructor. This isn't music theory, rocket scientist. <laughs> I like that. Matheny Benz. Um, um, Dirk, Dad's Polychords. I need to slow down and explain more. Couldn't follow and stopped after three minutes. Well, Dirk, too bad. Sorry. It's obviously not a video for you. Um, insane chords you can use. See, that's a good video title. Insane chords you can use use insane and you okay i'm going to change the title of that video right now and we're going to see oh i can't do it right now i can i, I can do it from my app hold on i'm going to change the title and we're going to see if the video does well we're going to look at the views right now and we'll see if it actually improves uh Starting from 9.46 tonight. Okay, so it's... Uh, hold on, let me tell you how many views it has right now. 16,700 views. Okay, so... Doing very poorly. Okay, so here we go. I'm changing the title. So tomorrow night at this time, maybe I'll come back on and we'll, we'll, we'll see. If it jumps up to, let's say, 40,000, it's the title for sure. Um... Okay, I've already forgot. Insane chords you can use. Hold on. I got to go back to my app for figure out. Insane is capitalized and you is capitalized. Okay, here we go. I like that. That's a good title. Uh, this is in, this will be interesting. Um, that's a very YouTube title. Let's see. Insane chords. You capitalized, right? No, hold on. You can use. I'll put a little exclamation on that. Here we go. And Boom! That's now the new video title. Looks good, too. Oh, that's a way better title. My God. Um, next Level Harmonies. These are great. God. So 
Sorry if I write these down here. Harmonies. The cords have stabbed you in the shower. <laughs> I like that. Oh my god. Okay, Robert asks, what are your thoughts on music and language? Most linguists don't consider music a language, rather language-like. I'm both a musician and a linguist who disagrees with that notion. Okay, so I have a concept, Robert, that, Rob, that most of the people know on this channel, because I believe that, um, not only do I believe that music is a language, I believe that music, I believe that, Perfect pitch is native music fluency. Uh, when babies are born, you guys are gonna you're bored of this already, but I'm gonna just say it again. When babies are born, their brain has they're they're already pre-wired to learn the algorithms of language. Okay, so. They're, they have the ability to hear the phonetic units of all 6,500 languages spoken on Earth. That there are about 2,000 phonemes. The English language uses 44 phonemes. Those are the sounds that make up syllables. Babies are able to differentiate when words start and end. And when you are looking at them and engaged with speaking with them, they stare at your mouth. And they, um, and when you engage their social brain, they begin taking statistical analysis on the sounds they're hearing. This lasts up until about nine months of age. This is the first critical window of language learning. Um, there's a great video TED Talk by. Um, Patricia Cool, uh, who's a real expert and pioneer in this language development, language acquisition field. And I watched this, it was from 2010. And this kind of, this was when I realized that my son Dylan had perfect pitch, I realized that I played him all this incredibly complex music. Most of it was my friend Iden's improvisations. And I engaged with him while we were listening. I looked at him. I I bounced him around. I tapped a beat on his on his arm and his back. Whatever I held him, and um, I believe that that's why he has perfect pitch because he relates these sounds to this social interaction, and those algorithms that are used to pick up the phonetic units. Eventually, they become cultural. She, uh, she she says they're born citizens of the world. Starting around nine months, they become culturally bound listener, meaning that they, they can only hear the sounds that are spoken regularly in their household. Uh, if you if a baby hears five languages, they will be able always be able to hear the sounds of those languages, those pho phonetic units. Dylan, um, uh, we had a. Um, friend that watched Dylan that would babysit and um, when he was born that she sp and spoke, spoke Spanish and she spoke Spanish to Dylan. Well, Dylan is the only one of my kids that can roll his R's. My wife and I can't ro roll our R's. Lennon and Layla can't roll their R's. I believe that they can't roll their R's because they didn't hear people rolling their R's when they were babies and Dylan could roll his R's as a baby because because of hearing this. Uh, when he heard Heather speak in Spanish to him, he uh, those motor neurons developed. And he was able to produce that sound. He's still able to do that. So I saw I see that all related. OK, so there there. Um, uh, so that's that's my thing. So I think that it's important for babies, and I think that language is completely related to uh, language learning and music acquisition. Native music fluency, which is perfect pitch, are directly related, and they correspond with the same time period. I believe that kids retain perfect pitch. If they don't have it by nine months, they're not going to have it for the most part, or at least by two years. Um, let's see 
Rico USA. I'm debating whether to invest my first 500 series mic pre's, BAE. Yes, get those. I upgrade my ribbon mics. I like those BAEs. If you buy them, tell Mark that I suggested that. Those are really great. I, I'm a big fan of BAE. Uh, I've owned BAE uh, mic pre's for years. I met the guys, I met the owner of the company at NAM at the beginning of the year. British guy. It's it's a British audio engineering or something. They changed the company. It used to be Brent Brent Averill was the owner originally. And um, so anyways, I highly recommend their stuff. You can tell them I recommended that. And I, you know I don't do I don't do ads for people, but I use them all the time. So um let's see here. Um, okay. I'm so entertaining. That's funny. I'm so far behind on these questions here. Um, let's see here. If I do, if I get to 40,000, will I do what makes the sun great on the metal band death? Um, Let's see. Um, uh, no. Um, how many chords does it take to get to the center of a Holdsworth solo? I like it. Chords that make you say, hmm. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, use your Instagram story for suggestions and upload titles. It's a great idea. Um, could you do stuff on Jacob Collier? Well, I want to interview Jacob Collier at some point. Um, That's why babies start with baby talk because we as parents teach them baby talk first. Um, anyone heard that Guthrie Govan's working with Hans Zimmer? He has been for over two years. Um... Let's see, yeah. Maurizio, what's up? I'm an Italian. I can't roll my R's. I admit it. I can't roll them. My mom could, but they never spoke Italian. My grandparents never spoke Italian. They did. I mean, they were from Italy, but they, they just didn't do it. My mom spoke Italian, but my dad didn't. They spoke. The parents spoke Italian to each other. Um. Um. What are my thoughts on the Hollies? I love the Hollies. Um, my God. Okay, I caught up with the comments here. Um, okay, so that's it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, uh, um, I feel a lot better actually right now. These are great suggestions, and that ch title change, boom, I think was good. I think it was really good. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. Uh, I'm going to see King Crimson play this weekend on Sunday. So um, I imagine that I will meet Robert Fripp. I'm just guessing, and Tony Levin who I worked with one time uh, 15 years ago, who is the most incredibly nice and gr greatest musician. Oh, my God. He took some pictures of me back then, um, and I want to get a picture with Tony when I see him. Um, okay, so that's good. You guys are the best. Totally uh, put me in a good mood. I think that this is... Um, um, 
this has been very helpful for me because I think that's a great title. And I should have come on here before. Um, and I really enjoyed making that video. But um, I got to figure out how to make a video that does well, that actually teaches stuff too. That's an art. And that's an art that I never mastered in the past. I think I can, I've mastered the... I know videos that do well. People like my list videos and what makes the sun great. And I have certain kinds of videos. And they like videos when I talk. Or they like videos when I, you know, I did the sound of bass drum. Um, uh, I've gotten a few new drums lately. I'm going to do a big drum episode. A couple big drum episodes. Uh, I just got a new Ludwig kit that I ordered a while ago. And I got a couple new snares today. Um, and I'm going to do some videos with them, which I'm very psyched at. I'm, I'm going to go um, hit my snares here in a few minutes. So you guys are the best. There's a discount code RB Live, 30% off everything. Put it all in capital letters. Um, that's just for you guys here on this live stream. And uh, I'm going to go live tomorrow afternoon around uh, 2 o'clock or so, 2 to 2.30. So be on a lookout. Um, if you get on and you, if you get on there and you watch this stream tonight, say the word Rosebud. How's that? Isn't that from Citizen Kane? Yeah. Say Rosebud. Then I'll know that you saw this stream that you were on at this time. So just put that as your first comment, Rosebud. And I'll be like, all right, we'll see you guys.